Hello everyone and welcome to Marvel Minifigures Explained Wrong, where I tell you all the right details of said minifigure. Before you are the five minifigures I'll explain for you today. If you enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe for more. Without further ado, let's get right into it. First up we have the Incredible Hog. As his name suggests, this guy is a huge fan of hugs and would like to give you one right away. If you don't believe me, then just check out that huge smile. I mean, that is the face of someone that wants to kill, I mean, love you with everything that he has. This guy was originally a small, scrawny, and as Hug would say, puny human looking guy, but after an experiment that went amazingly well, he turned into this huge guy to give even bigger hugs to people and spread his love around the world. Next up, we have the Iron Spider, and as his name suggests, he is half spider, half robot. After being experimented on by humans and some DNA accidentally mixing into him, he became what you see before you now, minus the robotics. The robot part came in after a horrible accident occurred in the lab, destroying most of his body and forcing the scientists that raised him to turn half his body into a robot to preserve his life. You could call him the cyborg spider, but it just doesn't have the same ring to it. And despite the robotics, he can still do anything a spider can to save the day as a superhero, such as shoot webs out of his butt. Except these webs are metal from his robotic body. Nonetheless, this guy swings around the city saving the day one day after another. And in case you're wondering, yes, it does look weird watching a man-like figure swinging from building to building from his butt. Before you now is Thor, the god of parties. This guy will juggle the little hammer you see him holding along with a lot of other fun tricks for children's parties as that is his job. But this job is very hard for him to maintain as he uses the hammer to make it look like he's summoning lightning when really it's just some pre-recorded green screen magic. Even his eyes are just specially made contacts. On top of all that he's actually really fat under that suit but wearing it really tight makes it look like he has muscles when really it's just fat compressed into the right spots. As you can see, when he is shirtless, we can see just how fat he really is, and more importantly, just how dedicated he is to perform well at children's parties if he is willing to put that tight suit on over all that fat for every party he attends. If he was so dedicated to his work though, you may be wondering why doesn't he work out to avoid this in the future, and the answer is, and I quote from Chris Hemsworth, the guy behind the party tricks, I don't wanna. Almost at the end now, we have Cat Loving Fury. Nick Fury, the nicest guy in the world who will always try to work around the truth if it means avoiding hurting your feelings, is a huge cat lover. As you can see in the picture before you, he is just loving that little cat in his hands and probably wants more cats. As such a huge cat lover, to avoid cats being afraid all the time, he has vowed to end all dogs. The only part of him that isn't so Mr. Nice Guy. In fact, he took this vow to the extreme as he founded a secret military operation dedicated to the destruction of dogs known as S.H.I.E.L.D. Special humans intending to end lots of dogs. He's even assembled some of the Earth's cuddliest heroes to help. Black Cat, Raspberry Raccoon, who loves raspberries, Sweet Tooth, what a cuddly guy, Squirrel Girl, and finally, the people lover himself, Wolverine, aka Weapon X. The X is for hugs, by the way. As for Fury's eye patch, well, he's just being dramatic. I mean, he got scratched by one space cat and he thinks he can never use his eye again. I mean, really. Drama Queen. Anyway, last but not least, we have Tiny Thanos. Believe me when I tell you, he is in no way dangerous. If I am correct, which I always am, Thanos was originally a big scary titan, but then he was shrunk after being hit by Ant-Man by some sort of particle shrink ray thing? I don't know, something about science. Anyway, this particle shrinker made him change his ways as well, and now he wants total destruction of the universe. Before, he wanted peace and prosperity for everyone, but now he wants the opposite. However, he can't even do anything anymore since he's just so darn tiny. I mean, the only other explanation is Lego just made him smaller for budget reasons instead of giving a bigger, harder to swallow part Thanos for kids, but that's not possible. 
Lego's motto is, only the best is good enough. And they have never, and I mean never, failed to bring that to the truth. Hey guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and make sure to comment what your favorite bit was. As always, I'll see you next time, and goodbye for now.